39 death watching video essays. Only appearing briefly within the game, Ati may be one of the most universally important characters in the Remedy verse. Before discussing the relevance of the unusual janitor, we must understand his motivation. <laughs> to know that, we will have to discuss some basics of thermodynamics. <laughs> the second law of thermodynamics <laughs> states that the total entropy of an isolated I can relate so hard to her feelings right now. <laughs> In simple terms, entropy is the measure <laughs> Look at her of the face. within the system. <laughs> a low entropy system is... That's a good clip. That's a good clip because she doesn't have to say anything. You can just tell she's actually distressed. And that's how I feel. All these video essays are horseshit. I don't know why this is such a popular form of YouTube. Just to dramatically over-dramatize <laughs> basic shit in games and media. It's like every fucking kid hated when English teachers did this. But when YouTubers started doing it, they were like, bro, yes. When it happens for fucking Rick and Morty, everyone's like, fuck, dude. I didn't think about that. Oh, my God. Rick's lab coat is white. <laughs> and it's like, you not see the fucking hypocrisy here? Yeah, I love Rick and Morty. I'm very smart, but books suck. <laughs> you summed it up. Yo, I just checked. It really is white. This changes everything. That's what I'm saying, dude. What? Well, find out in my new eight part, eight hour long per part <laughs> video series, the truth about Rick and Morty secrets you didn't catch. 15 things you missed in every episode. Dude, don't even get me started on MatPat. <laughs> MatPat's theories <laughs> are the opposite. MatPat's theories are so under-researched. <laughs> it, it's actually made up on the spot. <laughs> His most recent video is, Is Nurse Joy a Pokemon? You're kidding. This is a Pokemon. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, that's a picture of Nurse Joy, one of the most famous, most beloved characters to come out of the Pokemon anime. I mean, this is a character who dates back to, like, episode two of the series. She looks like a human, talks like a human, behaves like a human, but by the end of this video, you're gonna be convinced that Nurse Joy no. is, in fact, a I, fully catchable Pokemon. I guarantee that, that I won't. I guarantee that I won't, Matt Pat. The show that wants you to tap that subscribe button. Right now, over on Food Theory, I'm actually animal. But on to today's game theory. I While we like were I'm all busy worrying about how old Ash really is or whether Ditto is related to Mewtwo, Nurse Joy has been the anime's secret hiding in plain sight for the last two and a half decades. As a brief recap for those of you who are unaware, Nurse Joy is the character responsible for running all the Poke Centers of the anime universe. And Didn't you start with a recap of who she was? And then do a minute of plugging your own shit, and now we're back to the recap again? If I'm clicking on a video called Nurse Joy is a Pokemon, I probably have some concept of who Nurse Joy is. I don't need another minute of filler telling me who Nurse Joy is. If you speak to any Pokemon fan and ask them to describe Nurse Joy, I have no doubt that you'll get an immediate and detailed response. Much like Ash, Misty, and Brock, Nurse Joy is just one of those iconic characters with an iconic look. Pink and white nurse's outfit, blue eyes, and striking hair that curls in the front and forms I know two what large she wears! in the back. Oh like my I said, God! simply iconic. There <laughs> isn't a single- Stop stalling! You have described the picture of Nurse Joy four times now! Nurse Joy isn't just one character, but in fact hundreds, thousands, all identical and all running various Pokemon centers throughout the Pokemon world. But the in-universe lore explanation is that they're all related to each other. And that's kind of an explanation? It just mm -hmm. doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You know what makes a whole lot more sense? That they're all Pokemon. In the Pokemon world, identical children is actually the norm. But you know that I wouldn't be making this episode if that that was all the evidence I have. Oh, really? That, my friends, is just the start. <laughs> the thesis. By the end of today's episode, you're going to be convinced that Nurse Joy should be getting an entry of her own you into the that. National You that. You First, that. I want to And when you breed two Pokemon together, the baby will always be the same species as their... Is he implying that instead of the father being Karsten, that Nurse Joy fucked a ditto? <laughs> it, what is he implying? <laughs> The introduction of breeding in Gen 2 also brought with it the introduction of biological sex, because uh, Nidoran male and female from Gen 1 didn't count, apparently. And as you would expect, most Pokemon have... <laughs> Not bad explaining biological sex to children through a fucking crazed theory. Chat, this is actually a big day for you.
You can finally learn how this works. Matt Pat's gonna explain it to you because your parents never did. So with Nurse Joy's all being female, she's either the luckiest genetic coin flipper ever, or the much more likely scenario, she's actually it's a species a cartoon. of Pokemon <laughs> that Brock, the anime's biggest Nurse Joy expert, has the ability to notice slight differences between them. And yeah, there are also slight variations within Pokemon species, like between Ash's Pikachu and Richie's Pikachu. This would explain the small differences that you see between different <laughs> Nurse Joys. But then, what about this? this. Nurse Joys that are different in more than just their eyelash length, like we see in Black and White this and Sun and Moon. This disproves your whole well, theory! shiny and regional <laughs> variants of the Nurse Joy Pokemon. Back in Gen- No, 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 no. You did not just call a non-white Nurse Joy the shiny version. No. No, no. No. No, <laughs> no, shot, Matt Pat. <laughs> And I propose to you that some of these different looking Nurse Joys actually function in the same way. Case in point, in the Orange Islands, Ash and company encounter a Nurse Joy that looks identical to the mainland Nurse Can you imagine how awkward, like, let's say we're in the Pokemon universe and Matt Pat is explaining this theory to a real woman who works as a nurse. <laughs> You would be jailed. This is so psychotic. What I haven't explained is, you know, pretty much everything else. Like the fact that she's a human who talks. She looks and speaks like a normal human using regular words Don't and say sentences the rather than going around shouting her name. And Do not say that Meowth learned English so that every fucking Nurse Joy in the entire world learned English the same way. But the anime actually gives us our counterexample in the form of Team Rocket's Meowth. Living proof that Pokemon have the power to evolve differently when they put their minds to it. For those of you who aren't aware, Meowth in the anime physically <laughs> manipulated his body to walk on two legs. He even oh, taught himself aware. how to speak. But it certainly doesn't explain the other elephant in the room, the fact that she looks human. No amount of willpower is going to turn Meowth into something that doesn't look like a cat. And yeah. that seems to be the deal breaker for today's theory. She can have all the identical siblings and <laughs> tiny female versions of herself that she wants. She can't be a Pokemon because she doesn't look like a Pokemon. Theory busted. Or so you might think. The actual explanation for that lies in the past, both for Pokemon and for the now, Shut first, up! I'd like to call it the Seven years ago, I covered a theory about how Pokemon and people used to be one and the same. We've come a long <laughs> way since then and gained a lot of new subscribers, so rather than forcing you to go back and watch the cringe that is that video, seriously, please do not go and watch that one. No, you're right. Just recap They've gotten so much less cringy now. Thank God! Oh, I was gonna say, I can't go back and watch that one, because now that I've been through the rock-solid reporting of the modern day, I would hate to go back to that shoddy early stuff. For example, Frostlass's entry from Pokemon Sun reads, The soul of a woman lost on a snowy mountain possessed an icicle, becoming this Pokemon. And that's just the tip of the human-shaped iceberg, where Frostlass, as well as other Pokemon like Yamask and Phantom, are spirits of humans. How does it explain anything? Entry it's a is ghost something Pokemon. Else entirely. It happened one morning. A boy with extra sensory powers awoke in bed, transformed into Kadabra. Here we have explicit proof of people turning into Pokemon. But what we need now is the flip of that. We need Pokemon turning into Four. number three carries the particularly interesting quote there once were Pokemon that became very I have to make sure that's a real theory <laughs> okay wait so none of them say that except for this one which says a theory exists that this Pokemon was a young boy who couldn't control its psychic powers and it transformed it sounds like more like it's a uh based on this one it's like a folk legend it makes no sense because the amount of Kadabras there are. <laughs> and <laughs> why would an Abra turn into a Kadabra? I'm not picking and choosing to ignore the facts here. It, it, how many how many children? It, listen, if kids were turning into Kadabras, you'd think their parents would say something. It would be confirmed. If, if, if somebody in real life turned into a fucking Kadabra, <laughs> we'd hear about it on the news. It's not like it would be like a rumor. So I'm going to go ahead and say that is a uh, wives' tale in this universe. There's no evidence. Very close to humans. There once were humans and Pokemon that ate together at the same table. Ate together at the same table, you say? Sure. Sounds like one of those ye olde euphemisms to me. But the fun doesn't stop there. If you look <laughs> online and find the original Japanese for these, they can literally be trained. Sorry, what? Are you implying that humans and Pokemon fucked? <laughs> In this video for children? 
translated to, quote, there once were Pokemon that married people. There once were people that married Pokemon. This was wait, a normal wait, thing. Wait, what? I'm sorry, what? what is he doing right now? euphemisms to me. But the fun doesn't stop there. If you look online and find the original Japanese for these, they can literally be translated to, quote, there once were Pokemon. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I need some proof of this. What kind of Google Translate is this? I, I do not think that Nintendo Japan wrote this. I do not believe this is in a Pokedex entry that people married Pokemon. I don't believe it. Quote, here lived a Pokemon in a forest. In the forest, the Pokemon shed its hide to sleep as a human. I mean this, this right here. This outright shows us that not only were Pokemon and humans one and the same, but that Pokemon had the ability to no. become people. No. Seven years ago, we theorized that this was because of the human mind, the thing that differentiates us from animals. Certain Pokemon would choose to give up their special powers for the ability to grow mentally, to learn, to communicate. And honestly, I think so that this is exactly stupid. what happened to the species of Pokemon we no! now know as Nurse Joy. And better yet, I think I know the Pokemon that chose to evolve into her. And it makes a lot of sense for Chansey to be the one there to support Nurse Joy. Quote from Platinum's Pokedex entry, A kindly Pokemon that lays highly nutritious eggs and shares them with injured Pokemon or people. Its evolved form Blissey actually is very similar. It ha <laughs> How is that proof of anything? How is that proof of anything? How is that confirmed? as being it caregivers and healers. They would do anything to help a Pokemon or a person. A simple line smile, tall and thin blue eyes, that <laughs> iconic pink hair, which huh, kind of matches the iconic design of that favorite human nurse up. of ours. And also Shut when it evolves into Blissey, up. that <laughs> hair becomes curly, just like that certain nurse we all know and love. But why? Why would Chansey ever need to evolve into a human form? Well, think about it this way. These folktales talk of a world from long ago, when people and Pokemon were the same, but that's clearly no longer the case. I mean, how would you feel if you walked to your local doctor and found a dog sitting there waiting to give you a shot? Making it even more complicated, Pokemon and people don't just live segregated. People now capture, train, and battle Pokemon for sport. Where before, Chansey may have... <laughs> I'm still thinking of, of in-universe MatPat <laughs> comparing <laughs> a registered nurse to a dog. <laughs> I, <laughs> he's like at the Pokemon Center. <laughs> Uh, can I give my Pokemon to someone other than a dog with a needle? <laughs> so, there you have it, friends. The secret Proven. final evolution Proven. of Chansey to the Proven. human that we've all known and loved for decades, Nurse Joy. Kind of makes you wonder about Officer Jenny now, doesn't it? Another day, <laughs> friends. Another day. But, hey, that's just... I can't watch another second of that. Uh, Matt, Pat, you sly dog. <laughs> you got there. I, you know, I thought every ounce of it was stupid the whole way, but when you put it all together like that, when you put it all together like that, how can I disprove it? This could be true from Ram Nathan P. Cruz, a literal child. It all comes together. Chansey's personality, how Meowth learned to act like a human, it all makes sense, spelled wrong. <laughs> Anyone else remember when Brock used his frying pan as a drying pan? <laughs> It's not even relevant to the video. We're only five comments in and it's just a random fucking Pokemon memory. And most importantly, that video has more views than my entire channel combined. <laughs> Probably. Check it, check it.